All right, so today we are in Pelotas in Brazil, and we're heading up the Romantic route. Uh, I've had a little bit of a crazy morning. I'm so far behind. Uh, we're going to be doing a route settled originally by German immigrants, uh, so it's meant to be really interesting. I'll explain more on the way. I'm so far behind, but uh, yeah, woo! <laughs> Okay, so we're leaving Pelotas uh, this morning because I crossed into the border yesterday. This morning I went to get a chip for my a SIM card for my phone so I have data so I can figure out where I am, where I'm going, find a hotel. And I wanted to get money also. The SIM card turned into a huge thing. Went to Claro. I've taken for granted being able to speak Spanish. It's uh, very difficult to communicate. Everybody's so lovely though. I wish I could talk to them. The lady in the Claro store, for whatever reason, I don't know why you can buy Sims, but you can't recharge. Like you can't get credit at the Claro store. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So anyway, the poor lady took pity on me and she walked, she's like, I'm gonna take you through Google Translate. She's like, I'm gonna take you to the pharmacy to buy credit. So she walked over to the pharmacy we went to about six different pharmacies. None of them would accept my foreign credit card. Then I went and tried to exchange money. Uh, the bank fees are absolutely insane here. It's about $12 Canadian to take money out. So I had some uh, American money as my backup. So I went to try and change that. Went to three different banks. None of them would change it. Eventually used my bank card, charge $10 to get money out, and then I could buy credit with the cash. So I went to about six different pharmacies and three different banks just to get credit for my phone. But we've got it, but I'm leaving way later than planned. It's about 11.30, and it's about a six hour ride that I wanted to do today. So if I don't make it, I just stop earlier, but we're heading on a really cool route. The route should take us up through the mountains it's called the Rota Romantica, which is the romantic route. And it was a, it's a route kind of following where the original German settlers made these towns. So uh, you go through a bunch of old colonial German settlements. And uh, it's meant to be quite unique in Brazil. And hopefully getting up in the mountains, it's a little bit cooler. It's so hot. It's so unbelievably hot. And that is Porto Alegro.
chica. to Gramado. Uh, what a crazy day just starting with the Sam and the bank and all that and then the traffic. Uh, really really cool ride in. Uh, unfortunately just too much traffic for me uh, but it's beautiful. Not at all what I expected Brazil to look like. So in Gramado uh, it's like a Bavarian Christmas village. It's really strange. It's beautiful. Uh, obviously very touristy but just not what I expected Brazil to look like. It's hot as I expected Brazil to be. But uh, so that's it for Gramado. I'm going to go find some churrasco, some Brazilian barbecue. Uh, and then tomorrow I'm going to do what has consistently come up as probably the best ride in Brazil. Um, it's consistently rated as the best or one of the best. So we're going to do that tomorrow. So that's the end of today. Uh, just a quick note on Brazilian drivers. Not in general, not as bad as I thought. In general, they're actually pretty good drivers. It's not too crazy. But... There's about 5% of them that are super, super, super aggressive. Uh, and like, I'm okay with aggressive. I'd be a fairly aggressive driver, but this is aggressive, but like unsafe, erratic, sudden, stupid. Like I didn't catch it on video. The video cut out there. I'm not sure why. Uh, so that's the end of the video. <laughs>